Hello, cybersecurity enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're anything like me, you love getting your hands dirty in the digital world, poking around systems to see how secure they really are. And if you're serious about your security research, you need the right tools for the job. We're talking about the bleeding edge of offensive cybersecurity, the kind of tools that make you feel like you're one step ahead of the game. Buckle up, because today we're diving deep into the world of Kali Linux and showcasing the top new hacking tools of 2024. Remember folks, these tools are for authorized use only, and we're here to promote responsible disclosure and ethical hacking. Don't go using these on systems you don't have permission to test. That's just bad form, and we don't condone that kind of behavior here. So grab your favorite beverage, fire up your virtual machines, and let's get started. First up, we have Bleeding Edge, and let me tell you, this tool is a beast. We're talking about an advanced exploit framework designed to crack even the toughest nuts out there, modern security systems and those pesky zero-day vulnerabilities. This isn't your grandma's exploit kit. This is the real deal. What I love about Bleeding Edge is its modular design. It's like a Lego set for hackers. You want to add custom plugins? Go for it. Need to create your own exploits tailored to a specific target? Bleeding Edge has got you covered. It's this flexibility that makes it a true game changer in the world of penetration testing. But it's not just about flexibility. Bleeding Edge comes packed with features that would make even the most seasoned pen tester drool. We're talking about automated exploit generation because who has time to write everything from scratch these days? Plus, it has advanced evasion techniques to slip past those pesky intrusion detection systems like a ninja in the night. Oh, and did I mention the built-in fuzzer? Yeah, Bleeding Edge can help you find those obscure bugs that nobody else even knows about. It's like having X-ray vision for code. Trust me, if you're serious about finding and exploiting vulnerabilities, Bleeding Edge is an absolute must-have in your toolkit. Now I know what you're thinking. This sounds complicated, Linus. But hold on, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Bleeding Edge has a surprisingly user-friendly interface, even for those who aren't command line wizards. And the documentation? Top-notch. The developers really put in the effort to make this tool accessible to everyone. But don't let that fool you, under the hood this thing is a powerhouse. We're talking about cutting-edge algorithms, constantly updated exploit databases, and a level of sophistication that'll make your head spin. So if you're looking for a tool that can keep up with the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity threats, look no further than Bleeding Edge. It's the weapon of choice for penetration testers and bug bounty hunters who demand the very best. All right, moving on from the world of exploit frameworks, let's talk about the cloud. These days, everything seems to be moving to the cloud, which is great for convenience, but not so great for security if you don't know what you're doing. That's where Cloudcracker comes in. As the name suggests, Cloudcracker is built specifically for poking and prodding cloud environments. We're talking AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, the big players, all covered. It's like having a universal key to the cloud kingdom, but use it responsibly, all right? Now, Cloudcracker isn't about brute forcing your way into servers. It's about finding those subtle misconfigurations, those little security oversights that can have big consequences. You know, things like open S3 buckets, overly permissive IAM roles, the kind of stuff that makes security professionals wake up in a cold sweat. One of the things I love about Cloudcracker is its automation. You can set it loose on your cloud infrastructure and it'll scan for potential vulnerabilities, giving you a nice organized report of all the things you need to fix. No more manually checking every single setting, Cloudcracker does the heavy lifting for you. But it's not just about finding problems. Cloudcracker also helps you understand the risks associated with each vulnerability. It'll tell you how severe an issue is, what kind of damage a malicious actor could do, and even suggest remediation steps. It's like having a personal security consultant on call 24-7. And here's the best part. Cloudcracker is constantly being updated with new checks and features. The developers are on top of their game, making sure you have the latest and greatest tools to secure your cloud environments. So, whether you're a seasoned cloud security professional or just starting out, Cloudcracker is an invaluable tool to have in your arsenal. It'll save you time, reduce your risk, and give you peace of mind knowing that your cloud infrastructure is as secure as Fort Knox. Chapter 3. WebHackDB. The Hacker's Almanac for Web Application Domination. 
All right, let's shift gears again and dive into the world of web applications. Now, we all know the internet is built on websites and web apps, which also means it's full of potential vulnerabilities. And that's where WebHackDB comes in, our next tool on this list of Kali Linux awesomeness. Think of WebHackDB as the ultimate cheat sheet for web application pen testers. It's a massive, constantly updated database of exploits, vulnerabilities, and all sorts of nasty tricks you can use to test the security of web applications. It's like having the collected knowledge of a thousand hackers at your fingertips. But here's what makes WebHackDB truly special. It's not just a static list of exploits. It's a living, breathing resource that's constantly being updated by a community of security researchers from around the world. So, you know you're getting the latest and greatest information, not some outdated stuff that doesn't work anymore. The user interface is clean, intuitive, and easy to navigate. You can search for specific vulnerabilities, browse by category, or even filter by platform. And the best part? WebHackDB is completely open source. That means you can contribute your own exploits, fix bugs, and even modify the code to your liking. But WebHackDB isn't just about exploiting vulnerabilities, it's also about learning. Each exploit entry comes with a detailed description, proof of concept code, and even references to the original vulnerability disclosure. It's like a free education in web application security. So, whether you're a seasoned bug bounty hunter or just starting out in the world of web application security, WebHackDB is an indispensable tool. It's the kind of resource that can take your skills to the next level and help you find those critical vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. Chapter 4, IoT Scanner, Taming the Wild West of Insecure Devices. All right, folks, let's talk about the Internet of Things, or IoT for short. Now, I love my smart gadgets as much as the next person, but let's be honest, security isn't always their strong suit. And that's where IoT Scanner comes in, our next tool on the list, here to bring some order to the wild west of insecure devices. IoT Scanner is like a bloodhound, sniffing out vulnerabilities in all sorts of IoT devices, from smart light bulbs and thermostats to security cameras and even industrial control systems. If it connects to the internet, IoT Scanner can probably find a way to test its security. Now what sets IoT Scanner apart is its deep understanding of IoT protocols and architectures. It doesn't just rely on brute force, it uses sophisticated techniques to fingerprint devices, analyze their communication, and identify potential weaknesses. It's like having a team of expert hackers dedicated to finding flaws in your IoT devices. And here's the thing, IoT Scanner is incredibly easy to use. You don't need to be a networking guru or a security expert to get started. Just point it at your network and it'll do the rest. It'll give you a nice, organized report of all the devices it found, their potential vulnerabilities, and even recommendations on how to fix them. But IoT Scanner isn't just about finding problems, it's also about understanding the risks. It provides detailed information about each vulnerability including its severity, potential impact, and even references to known exploits. This way you can prioritize your remediation efforts and focus on the most critical issues first. And the best part? IoT Scanner is constantly being updated with new device profiles, protocols, and vulnerability checks, so you can be sure you're always one step ahead of the bad guys. So, whether you're a security professional tasked with protecting a corporate network or just a homeowner who wants to make sure their smart home isn't open to attack, IoT Scanner is an essential tool in the fight against IoT insecurity. Chapter 5 Social Engineer Mastering the Art of Persuasion, Ethically, of course. All right, for our final tool today, we're going to dive into the fascinating and often overlooked world of social engineering. Because let's face it, sometimes the weakest link in the security chain isn't a piece of software or a misconfigured firewall, it's us, humans. And that's where Social Engineer comes in. Now, before you start picturing shady back alleys and trench coats, let me clarify. Social Engineer is all about ethical hacking and responsible disclosure. It's a toolkit designed to help you test and improve your own social engineering skills in a safe and controlled environment. Think of Social Engineer as a flight simulator for social engineers. It provides a safe space to practice different attack vectors, from phishing and spear phishing to USB drop attacks and even good old-fashioned phone scams. And the best part? You don't have to worry about any real-world consequences if things go wrong. But Social Engineer isn't just about running pre-built attacks. It's also about customization. You can create your own phishing templates, craft personalized spear phishing emails, and even set up fake websites to lure in unsuspecting victims. 
It's like having a social engineering laboratory at your fingertips. And here's where it gets really interesting. Social Engineer allows you to track your progress and measure your success rate. You can see how many people clicked on your phishing links, how many downloaded your malicious attachments, and even how many fell for your cleverly crafted pretexts. But Social Engineer isn't just a tool for hackers. It's also an invaluable resource for security awareness training. You can use it to educate your employees about the dangers of social engineering, teach them how to spot phishing attempts, and help them develop healthy security habits. So, whether you're a seasoned penetration tester looking to add social engineering to your arsenal, or a security-conscious individual who wants to learn how to protect themselves from these kinds of attacks, social engineer is an essential tool to have in your kit. And that's a wrap, folks. We've taken a look at some of the most advanced and exciting tools in offensive cybersecurity, from exploit frameworks and cloud security scanners to web application testing suites and even social engineering toolkits. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and can be used for both good and bad. It's our responsibility as ethical hackers and security professionals to use these tools responsibly and to always operate within the bounds of the law. Thanks for watching and happy hacking. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. Until next time, 